According to the Mental Health Commission of Canada, in any given year, one in five people in Canada experience mental health problems or illness, with a cost to the economy of well in excess of $50 billion. Uh, Tara Lalonde, who is a registered psychotherapist, is here to talk to us about the impact on us personally and the impact on our society. Uh, Tara, welcome. Thank you. Um, very good to, to have you here. Great to be uh, here again. And uh, my apologies for, for introducing you as Laura. I could have, I could have uh, uh, earlier, I could have put it down to my accent, but I'm afraid. My no bad. worries. Okay, <laughs> that's fantastic. So, um, that, I mean, that's extraordinary. Mm -hmm. The scale of the problem. Yeah. I mean, is that what you're seeing in your, in your practice? Absolutely. It's huge, huge numbers. In fact, one statistic that I've heard recently, there are four to five thousand people for every psychologist, which is unheard of. That's crazy. Right. Psychologists cannot service that many okay. people. However, psychotherapists like myself, we are now regulated, so we are able to do this, also social workers. Yep. But still, the need is so large. And part of the problem is so many people who struggle, struggle in silence. That's why today is such a fabulous day, yes. to try to bring it out of the silence. Yes. Because it's, it's a huge issue that's happening. And I mean, do, I, one of the things I noted was that um, there's sometimes a disconnect between uh, the, the normal kind of point of contact, which is a doctor, mm -hmm. and, and mental health kind of provision. And doctors aren't necessarily uh, as trained or as familiar or, uh, with, with this and, and know what the signs to look for. Mm -hmm. Uh, what, what do you find? Absolutely. And that's a challenge that we find because the first point of contact, people know something's not going right. I'm not sleeping well. I, I'm just not thinking clearly. I'm confused. I'm not able to focus. Yeah. And of course, you go to your doctor. Sure. And that's an important first place. And, you know, I totally appreciate Joanne earlier in mentioning the medical side of this and sometimes needing medication yeah. because absolutely we need to support our brain. But in addition to that, we as psychotherapists and mental health workers need to do a better job connecting with the medical profession right. so that they know who we are and that it's not only psychologists who can actually help with talk therapy, right. it's psychotherapists and social workers. We are equally trained to actually do the one-on-one -on -one work right. that so many people desperately need. There is help out there. You don't have to suffer in silence. Yes. Um, I mean, how, how do people come to you? I mean, how, how do they get how do, how do they get referred to you? I mean, mm -hmm. is it because one of the things that the economic impact is is that um, people are taking off work. I mean, there's a huge amount of absenteeism uh, according to that, and so insurance companies will send people, mm -hmm. but it's very limited. Absolutely, and in fact, we do at life care centers. We are actively trying to connect with our medical professions around us, but that's in the Pickering East End of sure. Toronto area. And we have many doctors who send people, also word of mouth, you know, if you know somebody who has struggled with depression or has anxiety, ask them who they've gone to. If it's been somebody who's helped them, reach out to them, do that, because this is an important way that we can really help and get help. Now, I mean, often that will start um, close to home. Mm -hmm. Yes. But sometimes that can be the hardest kind of bridge to cross. Mm -hmm. what, what advice would you give to people who are watching who, who have a sense that not everything is right? Maybe they've, uh, maybe they've heard so, that there's uh, some of those symptoms and they, they, they've added them together and they say there's a few of them here. Mm -hmm. How do they cross that bridge to tell their, their wife, their husband, their, their parents? Mm -hmm. And their are you sometimes? thinking because they're seeing it in the other person or they're seeing it in themselves? Well, number one themselves, and so maybe they don't. You know, they, 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 you know, they can't kind of um, have the courage to cross that bridge or they're afraid of shame. Or someone else sees it in them. Mm -hmm. So how, 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 what would, you, how, what would yeah. you advise people? Great questions, both sides of this. If it's something you're feeling in yourself, the, oh, the today is so important. We want to break through the shame and the hiddenness. Do talk to someone. Say, I, I don't think something's, something's not working in me. I don't think the way I want to be thinking. I think I want to get help. And if a spouse says that to you, or a child says that to you, or even a parent says that to you, encourage them to get help, to reach out. But if you're noticing it in someone else, be gentle. I mean, don't, what are you, struggling with depression? What the heck is wrong with you? Yeah. Why are you always avoiding things? Yeah. Be, you know, hey, you know what? 
you could always talk to somebody. If you are feeling like you're going through something, it doesn't have to be clinical, but therapists can help talk through life. Make it normal because it is so normal. When you have stats like you just shared, it's a normal experience for us. And I wanna be able to normalize that for you. It's okay that you're going through this. It doesn't mean you know, you're not spiritual. It doesn't mean you don't have faith like we've been talking about. It means something is going on physically with you, physically, neurologically with your brain, mm -hmm. with your thoughts, and people can help you gain perspective and see things differently. And I mean, I would I mean, tell me if this is correct, that um, there is an assumption that people, uh, if, if they are diagnosed like that, that's, that's it. But actually sometimes we, we go through episodes, we go through periods, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And mental health can go through ups and downs yeah. where, you know, oh, thankfully I've gotten through this, but then it comes back. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. That's just how it works in our body. Yeah. So being okay with that, that I can use the tools I had before, maybe I need to go back and get new tools. It's okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. We're really, uh, really pleased to talk to you. Um, we've, uh, we've, got, uh, prayer, we've got prayer lines that are open and people can speak to you. Um, they can uh, they can pray with you if you feel that that's helpful, um, or they can they can direct you to other resources and other people who'll be able to help you.